All right, welcome back to more of the Cory. Um, so last time we were looking around these these cabins. I feel like I pissed I pissed what's the name off by not wanting to break into the the cabins. I don't know why you'd want to break into the cabins. Really not. Dylan is not gonna be happy that the kids just left this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Is he not gonna bring it to him? Okay. What I'm really looking for is kind of like those, uh, those totem things. So that I could have something to talk about when I go back to the lady. Tutorial unlocked evidence. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt, and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods, fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Damn. Ouch. So Jacob hasn't seen this. She should have kept that. I would have kept that. Oh, the pool. I'm not gonna lie to you. Walking around, like exploring stuff, makes me very anxious, very nervous. Oh, there she is right there. So she, so she's over there. I thought she was gonna be back over there. Well, if that's the case, then I'm gonna go back over there. Cause I want to know. I want to find more like more stuff, like totems and. Well, okay. I keep saying totems because that's what was in the last game, but it's not really totems. It's like uh, where did that old lady show us? You know, I'm very curious as to why these characters can never run. Like, they just have to walk everywhere. There's gotta be something over here. Is that a crow? It is a crow. Is it a crow or is it? Yeah, it's a crow. Not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. Head gets sent through the glass. Boom! That would be crazy. Okay, so I don't know if y'all saw that, but I saw an old lady in the window, which is like symbolic because of the 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 crow. Like wherever, so like I don't know if you noticed, but in the like that old lady. Whenever, like, we talk to her, there's a crow in the background. So I'm assuming that crow is, like, that's that's got to be, like, her thing. All right, I guess we could leave now. Oh wait, I didn't even see this right here.
Camp realistically probably isn't that bad. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. She swear finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now, anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Damn. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But. That's us. You and Nick could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold Man, on. I don't know why, but like, I oh, can never the pay attention that to that. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp. Mm, you can take a scenic route. I'm not taking a scenic route. We're not we going really scenic. Boo! Thumbs down. Don't care. Waiting Do for not us. care. Nick is going to leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! What? I didn't even. Did I hit it? Did I hit it? Oh, Emma, it's still live. That does not look good. What do I do? That's bullshit. I didn't even hit the fucking thing. Is she gonna kill it? Put it out of its misery. Uh, Emma, I can't. Abby, it's suffering. Kill it? Oh my god. We can't just leave it for like a, a a bird or something? Fuck you, squirrel! Fuck you! S send it, squirrel heaven. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No! It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why, to keep out bears? Apparently. Why didn't you break in it? Bears can be a problem. Bears can be a problem. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. 
I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little knee party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? Friendly, is it about me? I'm just too friendly. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? <laughs> okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. Really she reminds me of uh, London Tipton. Like, like, she looks just like London. From yeah, uh, the two episodes of Zach and Cody. Paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you, or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. You should have seen the kids better than yours. Seriously though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Well, up to it. Get those butts in gear. Coulda woulda if our bags weren't locked up. What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags. Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting What's our butts his here. Job? Except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about the, ghost the stories? H of H's Q. The hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just... Oh, for Pete's sake, Ryan. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. I'm not going to argue with him. Cool. It's his charger. Cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Yeah, that's that's his charger. He don't got to give me his charger if you don't want to give me his charger. I'm not gonna make nobody give me a charger and have an attitude because so, they uh, said no. Chris, I mean, no I'm sense. actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, 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 it's um, it's just you know about the whole thing with, with the. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Asked to give me or listen to podcast eavesdrop. 
E Ooh, uh, that's interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the game wants me to use job. I bet everybody probably wants me to use job. Me being me though, I would do both. I would listen to the podcast and use job at the same time because that way, if I do get caught, I can be like, listen to the podcast type. Uh, we're gonna use job. They're almost out of here. All right. We don't want to have Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. You didn't hear him? Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like, I mean, I heard. I, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on in. Sorry, I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand. Looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. And my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. This isn't important to me. Well, you're talking to a... What is he? A, what is he? He's not a camp counselor, is he? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh, boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can't. I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Apologetic. Sorry, I didn't realize it was. Yeah, I would apologize. I don't understand yeah. the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? I'm not gonna lie, though. I'm not gonna lie, though. I would, like, I, like, if it's not home, I don't like arriving or leaving anywhere at dark. Totally. Yeah. So. Best to get you all out of harm's that's way. That's just me. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Oh, he, mm. to he told us why anyway. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They just 
sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Skedaddle? Does anybody really say that anymore? Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell in the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. I cannot believe he fucked up the car like that. Like, that really hey, irritates me. what about our me. bags? Uh, Emma, I'm going to have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, thing. no. I am not leaving without... It's the way it's got to be. Come on, Jacob. Start her up. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. Oh, God. Holy sh Everybody back! Now, now, now! <clears throat> Jacob, wait, 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 wait! Oh my god. God damn what it! The Why wait. does my controller never fucking work? Oh, shit. I don't understand that. That's just gonna get me fucking killed. It's fucking quick time events, bro. I don't know why, like, every time I move my controller sticks, it just okay. doesn't register. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Ah! Okay. Damn it. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down.
I cannot believe he did that. Just to stay so, with a girl is crazy. You, uh, said to stay inside. That we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or. Or we could do something else. Mm -mm. No, uh, no, inside. No. We should really inside. listen to what Chris told inside. us to do. Yep, inside. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right. It seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? Apprehensive or supportive? He was just concerned for us, or he did seem freaked out. He did seem really freaked out, though. I'm going to say that, because he I did seem... I think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. No, 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 dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it, you know? You, uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Yeah, I'm just going to be dismissive. Man. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Damn, who's watching them? They're covering themselves in blood? That's so weird. There's gotta be a reason for it. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Empty-handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. 
not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I thought I was pretty thorough at looking, but apparently not. <clears throat> All right, so that's going to be the end of this video. So like, comment, subscribe, I'll see you at the end of every video. And we come back next time. It'll be the next part of Haggard's Quarry. Peace.